Hi everyone, I am Kocykek and welcome to my Paint.net tutorial, in which I will show you how to make really great looking text. So let's start with this example. So what you're gonna need before starting are plugins such as Drop Shadow, Feather Object and Trial. I will leave a link to them in the description. Also grab some font as well, because um, default ones aren't the best ones, let me tell you that. All of it is necessary. First you're gonna create a text, but before that make sure you create a new layer for the text before that. Select the text icon on the toolbar and then click anywhere on the photo. Change your font, in my case it will be Hello Solid and increase the size a little bit and type something you want. Now use the magic wand and select the whole text by holding shift and clicking on it. If you zoom in, you can see there are little shadow thingies that are left. So we can uh, high up the tolerance a little bit. 75 is enough I think. And now, while the text is selected, we can use the gradient tool from the toolbar. Select two colors, in my case it will be light blue and purple, dark purple. And now drag it on the text and position it, adjust it as you want. Here you have styles of the gradient as well. I will use linear. And now if you're done, you can deselect the area by clicking uh, enter or escape twice and you see it's kinda sharpy over there so use the feather object effect placed in object section and use the default settings which is feather radius 2 this will help anytime as you can see it softens the edges so there won't be any ugly pixels and any sharp things now you can use the glow effect which is in photo section and you can uh, decrease our brightness a little bit if you want but you can even leave it on default settings it's your choice and now use the drop sh shadow effect placed in object section here you can uh, here you can set blur radius to 0, widening radius to um, however the text is depending on how big is text actually and uh, set the color to black. You can use it again, this time with white color. And now we can use it again, but this time uh, set widening radius to 0, color to black and offset Y to, to 15, something like that, just to make sure the shadow is under the text and set the opacity as well to like 40, 50. And there we go, we have a great, cool looking text. Wow! In case you wanted a basic style, you can create a text with any color and use the drop shadow effect with kinda default settings, <laughs> with blur radius 0 of course. For drop shadow you can also use the glow effect and it will also will look great. You can also use a trial effect on blank text. Just duplicate the layer and use the trial effect 
on the bottom layer. Trial effect is in object section. And set the distance to 500, spacing to 1, and direction to something between uh, around 310 degrees. Also, uncheck fade out. And you can use the effect uh, as long as it hits bottom floor. Now, um, change the color of the trial you created to black and set the opacity to something between 80. And there we go. And if you're looking to put an image into a text, you can simply paste the image onto separate layer, going to your layer with text and using the magic wand on it, holding shift and clicking, of course, if you forgot, and going back to over layer with image, now, simply copy and paste it on new layer while deleting the old one. And there we go, we have our image placed in a text we created. And of course we can customize it however we want. There are also other things you can do with text, such as you can use the bevel object effect. but. I don't think it's really that cool. You can also add inner shadow, which just reminds me of <laughs> the bevel object as well. There are many ways to create text, but in the end, it's your choice. Thank you very much for watching my video and see you in next ones. Bye! Mama